Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Wyatt and today we'll be teaching you how to script time notifications on Roblox. Okay, so before I show you how to make this script, I just want to show you how it works. So all we have to do is go into the game uh, and as you'll see, as time begins to pass, we'll receive notifications. Okay, so now that you know what this script does, I actually want to show you how to make it. So the first thing we're going to do, we'll create a new local script under starter GUI. Um, I'm just going to name it time notifications, but you can name it whatever you'd like. Um, now the first line we want to have in this script is we want to get a reference to the starter GUI service. And the reason we're doing this is because anytime we want to access one of Roblox's core GUIs or do something like send a notification or anything built into Roblox that's a GUI, we have to do it through the starter GUI service. So we'll say local starter GUI equals game colon get service starter GUI. After this, what we want to do is we want to create our notifications array. I mean, all this is, it's going to be exactly where we store all of our different notifications that we want to send to our users. So I'm just going to say local notifications equals, and then we'll create a new array by pressing shift and then pressing the square bracket. Um, and then in here, we're going to store all of our notifications as strings. So let's say I want my first notification to be, be sure to join the group. All I do is I put a quote, two quotes, and then I say, be sure to join the group. And then if I want to add another notification after this, I put a comma and then I can put my next one. So maybe my next one is like the game. Maybe my next one is, you know, hello world. Whatever notification we have, we just want to put it in here. We can put as many as we want, but we want to put it in and we want to separate it by a comma. After this, what we want to do, I want to create a new variable outside of those brackets. Um, and this is going to be a time between notifications variable. And all this means is exactly how much time do we want to pass before we send a new notification. So if I wanted to do five minutes, I'd do 300 because 300 seconds goes into five minutes. Um, so all we'll do is we'll say local time between notifications equals and then whatever our time in seconds is in between our notifications. In this case, I just want to do it every five seconds. Obviously, you'd want it to be a little bit more, but I'm just doing that for testing purposes. Um, and after this, what we want to do, we want to create a while true loop. Um, and the reason we're doing this is because we're going to use a for loop in here to loop through each and every one of these notifications. But after we get to the end of these notifications, we need to loop through again. And the way we do that is using a while true loop because that loops forever. We want these notifications to come on forever while the player's in the game. Um, so we'll just say while true do. And then inside of this loop, we're going to run this constantly all the time. We want to create a new for loop to loop through all these notifications. So we go to our first one, our second one, our third one, and then we repeat. Um, so the way I'm going to do that is just by saying for i equals 1, common number of notifications. So we're saying for our iteration starts at 1, um, and we want to do this for all of our notifications, do. And this is going to run it, the code for each of these notifications. Um, and in here, I want to get a reference to the notification that we're currently on. So if we're on the first notification, the first iteration through that loop, we get this one, be sure to join the group. The second one would be like the game. And the third one would be hello world. Um, so all the way I'm going to do that, I'll create a new variable called notification. And all we want to do is set this variable equal to notifications and then our current iteration. So for the first time, be sure to join the group, you know, for all the different ones, we get exactly what the notification is for our current iteration. After this, what I want to do is now that we have the notification, I actually want to send it to the player and I want to display the message to that player in that form of that little notification on the side of the screen. Um, and the way we're going to do this is we're going to call the set core method of starter GUI. Um, now set core can be used for a bunch of different things regarding the default Roblox UI, uh, but in this case we want to call the send notification portion of set core. So all we're going to do is we're going to say starter GUI colon set core, and I want to pass in as our first argument send notification because that's what we want to do. We want to send the player a notification. Um, and then our second argument in here is all the different things that we want to do, all of our parameters, I guess you could say, um, for our notification. So we want to specify the title, we want to specify the text, and we want to specify the duration of the notification. Um, and the way we do this, it's super easy. All we would say is the parameter, which in this case would be title. So title equals, and then we just put whatever our title is as a string. So in this case, I want our title to be system notification but maybe yours could be like important update or something like that and you just put that right there and it'll come up for the player um, and then to add another parameter we put a comma and now what I want to do I want to add the text so I want to say what is the body of that notification 
And in this case, I want the text, the body, the notification to be our notification variable, whatever we're on up here. So I'll say text equals notification, like this. And then after this, I want to specify the duration. So however long the notification is going to stay on the player's screen. And in this case, I want it to stay up for five seconds, but you can set this to whatever you want. Um, after this, I'm going to hop out of this array, and all we want to do is we just want to wait however long it is in between the notifications. Um, the way we're going to do that is we're just going to say wait, and then we're just going to pass in our variable up here, time between notifications. Um, and that's actually all we have to do for this script. We can head into the game to test it out. I mean, obviously my notifications are going to come up really fast, but yours will come up slower if you increase that time between notification variable. And as you'll see, we have our system notification over here and it'll keep looping through, do one, and it'll repeat because of that while true loop, and it sends us our notifications. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I'll have the pastebin link with the code and the Roblox model link with all the assets shown in this video in the description, and I'll see you guys later.